Hi, Andy from DIY Band. I have had a request from a guy that's been commenting on one of the videos uh, who's struggling to install this plugin, Fourteen Nameless, uh, the Fourteen Nameless suite from Neural DSP. Uh, basically, it's a guitar sim. It's very much like uh, Pod Farm that I use in most of my videos. Um, but this is actually a paid for VST, but it does come with a free trial. Uh, and this person is struggling to install the free trial, so I thought. I'm going to give it a go. Now, small disclaimer, my uh, whilst I was I installing, I got halfway through this video, I was installing a piece of software, um, machine needed a restart, no problem, as I come back, as it boots up, the last file that I used, uh, that I recorded even, uh, has become corrupt, so here I am, I'm doing it again, I'm going to run through um, basically what it is that I did. So there may be some bits that are not exactly the same, but anyway. First thing, really, what we're doing is we're going to search and we're get the, going to get the real download link for the, for the, uh, this plugin. So we've got 14 Nameless Suite. I've just searched here. Um, and I, Neural DSP, I'm going to pick the first link here. As you can see, it's already purple anyway, because I've been here. We'll wait for this to load through. And here we are. So right here, we're going to just click Download Trial. Okay. This has opened up in a new tab. We can get rid of that first tab now. Now, there's a few things to pay attention to on this page. Um, firstly, that you can only get one download per user, so that's per login that you that you have set up. It will only send you, uh, it will only send you that email, um, so you can download one version of it at a time. It does come with 32-bit and 64-bit versions of the VST, and it also comes with a standalone. Um, for what we were interested in in Zimewave Podium, we are not interested in these, but you know other other doors may uh, very well benefit from using those. Um, ignore all that, where you can read it if you like. But we will need to download iLock. Now iLock is a license manager that basically just double ensures that um, the the licenses are true and trials run out when they are meant to and that kind of thing. So from here, if we click Add to Cart. Now, I believe at this point, you will have a box here that says uh, to add your email address. Now, when you do that, that is because you haven't got an account already or you're not signed into your account. So if you add your email address there, that will then start you on the road to uh, actually creating an account. Um, and what that will what that will allow them to do is send you the link so you can actually download. So we don't download at this point we need to wait for the email that we do get from from these guys so we make sure that this is the what we what we're looking to download the price is uh, free obviously because it be in a trial and we're going to click check out so my information is already in on this page because I've already gone through this process. Uh, you do want to just check quickly that it is 100% free and then you can click pay now. Now that won't prompt you to download anything and you won't actually pay anything. Um, but what that will do is let them know to send you the email where you can don't download the stuff. So if I pull up the emails now. So you'll get a few emails from New Neural DSP. This is the first one. You'll get an order confirmation where you can click here to download um, the installer for 14 Nameless Suite. You'll also get an instructional video on how to install it, but I guess that's what this is as well. So, And the next one is a link to iLock, which is uh, very useful. So if we go ahead and click on uh, this link here, it will prompt you to do the go through the download. So go and do that, and that will start your download. Once uh, you've done that part, if you click on the iLock link, that will open up a new tab up here. Once we're on the iLock page, we can sign in if you already have an account. You can create a free account, which you will need to do at some point anyway. If you're just looking for the download at this point, you'll just need to click on iLock License Manager. So we click up here, and over here, we need to pick the version of uh, well, what, what computer you're using. If you're using a Mac, then obviously download the Mac OS version. If you are using a 32-bit or a 64-bit version, then use uh, those... Use, the download for your specific machine. I'm using Windows 64 bit, so we click on that and that will start that download. 
So I'm going to go ahead and close that link and I'm going to close that link. So my download of iLock, obviously I've already installed this, but I just uh, put it on my desktop as for ease. I right clicked and extracted it to a folder of the same name. Uh, that will just create a new folder. We go into here and then go into there and if we double click on this. That will start the installation of the license manager. Once that's all installed, you should have the shortcut on your desktop if you chose to have it there. Um, and then you'll need to double click to run the iLock license manager. So we now have iLock uh, open and running. And if you haven't already created an account you like on the website, you will have an opportunity to do so now. Uh, so we need to click on uh, this and it will ask you to sign in if you haven't already signed in. Uh, otherwise, there will be a little link to create an account. I've obviously, like I said, I've already done this. Um, so at this point, what we do, you won't have this here. Yours will look a bit different depending on how many um, licenses you've got using iLock Manager. You'll get a second email from Neural DSP, and in that email will be a long license key. If you click up here, redeem an activation code. If you click on this, just copy the link, the, the, the not the link even, the code that you get from your second email and control V or right click paste, I think, right click, yeah, right click and paste that into there. You should get a load of green ticks along the bottom, click next, and then up comes 14 nameless suite up here. We're not done yet you should see zero of three activations at this point. All you'll need to do is just grab this, so click and drag, and you'll drag it over to your desk, your, your, well, your computer name. And what that will do is it will activate your computer to use that license, because this is just an account, okay? So the, the, this is on my account, um, and then I will need to activate that license that's license to my account onto this computer. Once we have done that, we are done with iLock, so we can go ahead and close that. Next step, what we'll need to do is we'll need to run our 14 Nameless Suite EXE. Again, I've already gone through this, so it may look slightly different. I have not done this a second time, so I, who knows what we're going to see. Okay, so we're going to go and accept the first license agreement. Now, as you can see here, you, you all, I think all of yours will be selected to begin with. I have unselected most of mine, and I'll tell you why. First of all, the first tick box, the 32-bit VST plugin .dll file. That's the one that I'm interested in if I want to use this plugin on Podium, okay? Because I have a 32-bit version of Podium, so I need the 32-bit version of the plugin simple as that really so i have no need for the 64-bit version of the vst my system is my my windows version is 64-bit so for a standalone so you can open this program up without opening podium you won't be able to record anything but you can play it almost turns your computer into a, an amp okay uh you can now select the one the version that matches your system so i've got a 64-bit version of windows so i'll need the 64-bit version of the standalone so again the vst you want to pick the version of the door you have so i've got a 32-bit version of zymoth podium and a 64-bit version of windows we click next now Here's where I'm going to change some bits. This will choose where I'm going to install the DLL file for the VST. By default, it's going to install it here. I'm going to hit browse. Yours may be different. Uh, I am going to scroll down to where I have all my VSTs in this VSTs plugin. I'm actually going to put them. Yeah, I've not got much, much other folders in there. So VST plugins and guitar folder is where I'm putting mine. You can put yours where you want, but just make sure you remember where you do that. Next. 
This is uh, where the standalone is going to be installed, and I'm uh, happy for that to be installed as default. There, it'll create its own new folder. We can create a desktop shortcut if we wanted to. I don't at this point. And then we can click install. Once that's gone through, click finish. And now we're ready to open Podium. Now we've got Podium open, uh, you should come to a page very similar to this. We're going to need to add our VSC, aren't we? So there's a few ways to do this. Um, now, I'm only adding one VSC, so this is the way I really do it. Is um, I will go and find my VST folder. So I know it's on C drive in my VST plugins. And I had it in, I whacked them in the guitar folder. Now in here somewhere should be 14 Nameless Suite. Perfect. I'm simply going to click and drag and drop this over to this side. And boom, there we go. So we've got mono version and the stereo version. I think what I'm going to do at this point is just pop this into the folder. Popped in there. Uh, I'm actually going to delete the mono version. Don't use them. And we're ready to start a new track. So let's click new arrangement. We're going to call this 14. Double click over here. And we're going to call this guitars. Obviously you can call yours what you wish. Let's just get some zoom in on over here. We hit plus. Go down to our guitar folder, which is where we just put that VST. And we should be able to see... Oh, there it is, right at the bottom. 14 Nameless Suite. Now that that's added, let's just open it up, make sure it actually works. Well, in fact, actually, one way to make sure it works is to plug a guitar in, isn't it? So, let's do that. I will need to just add a uh, plug-in here so you can hear what's going on. Okay, so I'm plugged in now. Uh, this is this is all default settings, um, and let's just see how and if it works. I guess. Okay, it seems to be uh, seems to be working. It seems to work. I'm not sure why um, anyone was having any problems installing it, but again, if you do have if you do have issues, I guess we can try and work it out. Uh, I don't really know why it was not. Maybe you missed a step or something. Hopefully, this video helps. But if there is anything um, with anything else, boing, even including this, just do drop me uh, drop a comment down, and I will try and answer as quick and to the best of my knowledge as I can. Um, in the meantime, have fun recording some music, especially trying out this uh, VST, which uh, seems pretty good as it stands. I will see you on the next one.